G'day, Sticks here. I'm uh, just putting together a quick video for Tony Martin who wanted some assistance uh, working out the uh, the wiring outputs for the BF20L, the Optimum Optimum BF20L. Um, chiefly, I read from the uh, the wires coming out of the out of the headstock there. Um, so I'm just going to go over those guys. If there's any anything further uh, that you want, Tony or anybody else, um, throw some comments into the comment box, and I'll I'll address them uh, where required. Okay. So what we have is a six core uh, in the black sheath. We have a three core in the black sheath. And then there's uh, a smaller uh, control wire, control wire, just here, and I believe that's going to be for the uh, the spindle guard switch. Um, but I'll go through it one by one. I'll talk about the colours, where they're going, um, numbers uh, on the cable sleeves, if appropriate, or if if there, and hopefully this will be enough to get you by, uh, Tony, so you can reassemble your reassemble your mill and get things going again. All right. I'm going to start with the, the three core uh, with the, just the AC color coding, if you will. Um, so that guy coming out of the headstock through this little pole here, the pipe here. Uh, we've got a green, yellow, we've got a blue and a brown. So green, yellow goes to the ground bus bar down the bottom here, just there, um, which I think is pretty pretty obvious. Uh, next one is going to be the uh, the brown, so the AC active. So he comes through the loom and ends up sitting, so that brown has a number six sleeve on it, just here. Uh, he sits into the forward reverse switch, sorry. Yeah, the forward reverse switch. And on mine, he goes into position number seven. So, if we look at it upside down, he goes into seven, which is uh, lower left, and then the middle position. Uh, next up, we have the blue, which is AC neutral. If it's being used in that way for this guy, sure. If not, whatever. Um, so that has a number five on the cable sleeve just there. Now he is going into number... Uh, I won't be able to get in there. But if you have a look in there on the forward reverse switch, um, there's actually a, a receiver labeled number five. But if we look at it from this direction, as bottom right, and he goes into the, into the middle position. Cool. Okay, so that's the three core done. Uh, next up, I'll just chase out the uh, the little black wire. So he is coming. Oh, fuck through here. Oh, I obviously didn't plan this out too well. So that's just the get out. The three core there, little control switch plugs into the control board near the display. All right, so that's two of those done. So next up, we're going to roll with the six core coloured. Uh, so we have. Uh, white, blue, brown, black, grey, and green. Alright, so we'll have a look where they come out to as well. So, we'll start with the white. White is coming into the emergency stop button. If we look at it from this direction, it's the lower right connection there. Nice and easy. Next up is blue, so he follows the white along. Again, if we look at it on the um, e-stop, if we look at it from this direction, it's lower left. Next up we have brown, which also comes this direction. So brown comes out this way. That's connected to the start stop or the on off. And he is going into number three on that relay block. Is it a relay block? I believe so. It is, yes. Number three on the relay. Um, and then that's paired with a blue wire, which has whatever that is. Uh, I think an E, an E on that little bit of cable sleeve. All right, so that's brown out of the six core. Next up, we'll do black from that six core. So black follows down also, and black goes into the well, one of the terminals for the the light switch. The other one is red, and he goes to the control board. So. Uh, yeah, that black goes into, has a spade on the end, goes into one of the terminals on the switch for the light. Alright, next up we have uh, that <clears throat> that odd green colour, teal maybe. Okay, so he's actually going to the, to the rear. And if we look at it from this direction, it's going into the 
second from the right, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from the left. Number two from the right, or seven from the left. Cool. And next up is grey, which mine has a H or a K, little cable tag on it. And he's going into number one over here. So number one from the left, last from the right. And I was kind of unhappy, I'll have to fix it up in a moment. Um, but as far as cords coming out of the headstock, that's what we're dealing with. Um, just the three core uh, AC colouring and then the six core and then the, uh, sorry, the, the three core control wire here. And then the two core goes through to the back um, and that should be enough. Uh, so mate, that's everything that's coming out of the headstock, um, including, yeah, you can see that. Um, I, I imagine this guy is in there somewhere as well. Uh, first thing I did was remove the spindle guard, so I, I don't use that at all. Um, but mate, I'll throw that up online. Hopefully that helps. Um, so yeah, follow it through and hopefully you can get your mule back up and going. Cheers.